Hey everyone, welcome back into this special Sunday edition of the Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz with you and it's time to take a look at weather once again. What can you say about the weekend? Lots of sunshine, a little chilly at times, but not too bad for down the river for the tired iron. We're looking at a clearing trend to continue right on through the rest of the week and even slowly warming. We'll tell you about that in a little bit. Taking a look across the state today, first of all, our satellite and radar, as you can see, not a whole lot going on. High pressure really dominating the weather scene. Very, very few clouds here and there, and that's going to continue. And speaking of temperatures, uh, our high today was 13 degrees after a normal high of 14. The overnight low last night, 26 below. Our normal low right around 11 degrees below zero. Record high, 1945, got up to 48 that day. And in 1932, dropped down to 50 below. Now, our sunrise and sunset works out to about over a little more than nine and a half hours of daylight, a gain of seven minutes from yesterday. And once again, we have an air quality problem going on. The folks in Fairbanks looking at moderate problems, but in North Pole, it's unhealthy. This advisory is expected to last until 5 p.m. Tuesday. So folks with uh, respiratory problems, kids and the elderly should make it a problem, make it a, a, a normal routine of just staying inside for right now. What's going on across the rest of the state? Well, we're looking at lots of sunshine over southeast Alaska, spreading around the Anchorage Bowl. Some showers around the Kodiak Island area, otherwise cloudy skies up and down the west coast. A little light snow being reported in the Barrow area, 2 degrees for the high there and 8 below at Fort Yukon. Lower 48 weather, a little bit of weather to talk about, not nearly as severe as it has been for the last month or so it seems like. A little rain falling across the Pacific Northwest, some rain around the Texas area and some showers and thunderstorms rumbling across the deep south. And as far as our satellite and radar, again you can see the jet stream really well defined here with the cloud structure and there's the thunderstorms across the Florida Peninsula. Not much going on on the West Coast, but that's going to change. In fact, uh, later on in the second half of this week, they're going to get some much needed rain across much of California and the Sierra Nevadas. A lot of snow expected there too. That'll help their drought situation that's going on. The overall jet stream, again, calling uh, for some really wild uh, movement of the air. You can see going way up to the north across northern Canada and then diving way down south again, pulling all that cold air with it right across the, uh, the Midwest and the northern plains and some more possible snow across the northeast, just what they need, right? While the rest of the country looks pretty good for the most part. Again, dry situation over the south and then there comes the rain on the west coast. Well, back to Alaska for tomorrow in the northern sections, looking at scattered clouds at Barrow, some snow showers in the Nome area, and sunny skies expected in Fort Yukon. Here in the interior, couldn't ask for better weather. Breezy at uh, Healy, winds gusting close to 35 miles an hour. Sunny skies for Delta Junction and the Fairbanks area, and temperatures right around uh, 12 degrees above zero, not below zero, but 12 degrees above. Sunny skies for Juneau tomorrow over southeast Alaska, and clear skies in Ketchikan. And uh, temperatures warming up to about 38 degrees at Ketchikan. Now over to the southwest part of the state. It looks like for the most part a mixed bag of weather once again. Snow showers for Bethel, rain and snow at Kodiak, and cloudy skies in the Cold Bay area. And temperatures once again close to 40 degrees around the uh, uh, Cold Bay area. Mostly sunny skies in the Anchorage Bowl if you're heading on down there. So partly cloudy skies expected at Homer and sunny skies for Valdez. Okay, here's our forecast for the remainder of the night. We have a moderate level of chance of seeing some auroras, about a three level, which is not too bad. We've had a lot of auroras lately, some great video and photos. And as far as our forecast is concerned, 20 below tonight, not as cold, with clear skies and light winds. Now tomorrow's forecast, we're gonna try and get that uh, temperature up there for the opening of the ice park out there on Phillips Field Road, 12 degrees for the high. Another day with lots of sunshine and uh, like I said, temperatures slowly warming. And the five day outlook looks pretty encouraging. As you see here, temperatures warming to the mid to upper 20s by the rest of the week. And overnight lows will also be warming too to the single digits above zero, even to the 10 degree uh, category. Things look really nice. And as like I said, lots of sunshine expected and it will be great for the opening, like I said before, of the ice park. And I'm gonna be excited about that because uh, starting tomorrow night and for the rest of the week, I'll be broadcasting live there with the weather updates each night. Hopefully my mouth will not freeze shut by the end of the newscast. <laughs>